On Monday, Spurs taking all three points with a 1-0 victory over Burnley. It wasn't particularly pretty, but in the end, the Son Kane combination proved to be worth three points once again. As Shaka and Jules with us uh, reflect on this game, Jules, not the best from Spurs, but obviously three points. Are they going to win the title now? <laughs> well, you never know in this season, it's so open, but they certainly showed something different to what they've been showing so far this season, especially away from home when they were so incredibly clinical going forward, so devastating. We saw the game, obviously, at United, we saw the game uh, as well at uh, uh, Southampton, for example, mm. and yet this time not space to run into so much, or at least or they didn't use it as well uh, against the Burnley team, as we know, very aggressive, very solid, very well organised. And, and, and well drilled, and yet they still found a way. I find, it, I find it really fascinating the way they can still manage to find a win like this, Kane and Son, again, this time on a corner, on set pieces, they had, I think one shot on target, and that was it. And I think when you've got that degree of efficiency, when as well defensively, you know, you're not too bad, like they were tonight, I thought, okay, Burnley had a couple of good, good shots, but that was it. I think you can certainly look far ahead because you're in a really good shape. This obviously stayed the... This is what they needed after that draw against West Ham, Shaka, just to get a win under their belt and move on. Yeah, it was an ugly win, one that they, they clearly had to, had to work hard for uh, in, in a way that, that they haven't been used to over recent weeks. Spurs have been scoring goals in bucket loads, um, but all of a sudden against Burnley, they, they found chances hard to come by. And, and credit Burnley for that. Listen, Burnley are struggling this season and they went back to their old selves. 4-4-2, as strict as it comes. Wing-backs don't bother to bomb on. They just sit there uh, and make life difficult for, for Spurs front three and then give Spurs the wide areas to cross the ball if they wanted to because they know the only player who could get any joy in the air uh, against Burnley's back four is, is Harry Kane. So they only had the one thing to, to worry about. From Spurs' point of view, I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't see this coming and, and they didn't adjust. I thought Spurs' best chance in the first half came when Lucas Moura made a run from the right all the way to the left and the wing back tracked him and it opened space up on, on, on the right hand side. Um, yet still, you didn't, see, you didn't see those runs coming at all um, again before the end of the game. In the second half, the best chance came, aside from the goal, from Son making a run from deep and, uh, and, and Sissoko slipping him in. Again, I, I just felt that Spurs weren't that creative against a very rigid and hard-working back four. But they got the job done. Uh, and from, from a usual Mourinho set piece, where one goes to the ball, one cuts across the face of the goalkeeper, it worked to treat, that's what it took. Spurs were the better team for, for the 90 minutes. They, they're fully deserving of, of, of the three points. But I just thought Spurs could have done a little bit more in their attacking third. Let's make you cringe then, Jules. Six games in, who's finishing higher? Spurs or Arsenal? Oh, that's a good. That's a good call. I mean, we've had that discussion before. Where I think I still think that he could be. He could be really tight at the top, whether he's first and second or for that top four. But I think I think Spurs are looking in really good shape, better shape than Arsenal. When you watch Arsenal against Leicester, for example, on on um, on Sunday night, and then. And then obviously Spurs at Burnley, like we said with Shaka, in a difficult game and they still managed to come out winners without having not much created at all. So certainly Spurs look, look in better shape now, look a better, you know, a better bet if you want to. Uh, and when you look at it, Lo Celso is only slowly coming back from injury. He came on late in the game, but he will, Mourinho loves him and he brings something a bit different in that sort of number 10 position. You know, you've got Gareth Bale as well, who at some point will hit form and, and will be a really good asset to have for Mourinho, either as a starter or from the bench. So I think if, even if you look at the other options that Mourinho has, it's pretty good and pretty decent. So, you know, just, just for now, I would say I, I think Spurs can finish higher. And I think wow. they can finish higher than a lot of teams in the league this season. Well, well, let's take that to the next step then, shall we, Mr. Power Rankings? Let's just focus on the English team, Shaq. And when it comes to favourites to win this title, which everyone agree I think is going to be quite open this year, where are Spurs? Mm. Uh, favourites to win this title R right now, um, I, I think Spurs are third in, in, in all honesty. And, and there's... Of course, there's a lot of caveats to that. 
how, how uh, Liverpool cope without Van Dijk. I still think that they're favourites to win it. City surely are, are, are going to get better. They can't be as bad as we see them uh, to, to start this season. And, and then everybody else has just so many questions, whether it's Chelsea and can all those signings gel. Uh, Jules touched rightly so on and, and, and Arsenal. Leicester's been inconsistent. And, and Jules is also right to point out that, that Harry Kane, uh, not Harry Kane, uh, Gareth Bale on the bench, not used. Um, but he certainly, if he finds form and he finds fit fitness, let's say by January for the, for the run into the end of the season, I think it, 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 at the very least, puts Spurs above the others in, in that chasing pack. And, and short odd favourites to at least finish third. Boys, thank you very much. It rounds up what was pretty much a rubbish uh, weekend in the Premier League. No real standout matches. By the way, it finished Brighton 1, West Brom 1. But after all of that, it's Everton and Liverpool who are joint top of the league. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.